Alright, so um, DJI released a new action cam, the Osmo action camera, and um, it's the usual DJI uh, release, you know, there's a lot of uh, fanfare, they send a promo to everyone. You know, I was very excited when I saw the impending release of this uh, camera, but I'm, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about whether I'm still excited about it. Now, I need to say that uh, this is a camera that has some amazing features. It really does compete, I think, head-to-head -head with the GoPro 7 Black, and uh, I think that was the intent by DJI to uh, compete directly with this uh, camera. And I think it does that. I think that uh, uh, DJI is going to give GoPro a run for its money. And um, I think that they've, you know, put some amazing features in this uh, little action cam. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the features of this camera. But um, I'm also going to talk a little bit about whether or not I'm going to buy it. I mean, is it something that uh, really excites me? Is it... Uh, you know, something that, in my opinion, um, reaches the level of uh, DJI innovation, or does it not quite, uh, you know, achieve that sort of innovative status that we expect from uh, DJI? All right, so let me just tell you a little bit about some of the uh, features on this camera. So it has a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS. Uh, sensor with an effective uh, 12 megapixel image resolution. It has a 145 degree field of view uh, at f2.8. Now what it does have that's I think quite innovative and in my opinion it's probably the most innovative aspect of this camera is a 1.4 inch front-facing LCD at uh, 300 ppi now this is uh, great for the people who want to do selfies. Um, I think it's really great for framing if you are vlogging. Although, uh, as some people pointed out, given the wide angle field of view of this camera, um, does it really help all that much? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, with that kind of a wide angle field of, of view, you know, you're going to be in the frame no matter uh, where you put uh, the camera in front of you, you're, you're going to be there. Although I guess for precise framing, uh, it's going to be uh, quite helpful. And I, I think it's, a, it's an innovative uh, move uh, for sure. It's, it's quite interesting. Um, it also has, of course, a uh, rear LCD, a 2.2-inch touchscreen LCD on the rear. Um, at 300 uh, ppi. It can do all sorts of video formats, uh, uh, 4K at 60 frames per second, uh, 50 frames per second, 48 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 25, 24, etc, etc. Um, it can shoot uh, 2.7K full HD uh, and HD. So, you know, the options in terms of uh, shooting video are all there for for everybody and and that's great I think uh, you know it has essentially everything that the GoPro uh, 7 Black has uh, in terms of images it can shoot raw uh, DNG uh, as well as uh, JPEGs the battery um, well the battery is slightly I think more powerful than the battery on the GoPro uh, 7 black it uh, comes in at 1300 milliamps uh, and the charging time is um, 88 minutes so you know you get a pretty decent uh, battery uh, from my my understanding it will last approximately uh, two hours and some people were worried that uh, it would not be a removable battery well it turns out that it is removable so that's uh, that's good Anyway, uh, as I said earlier, this uh, action cam is basically supposed to compete with the 
GoPro Hero 7 Black. And I think it competes with it um, really uh, well. I mean, it's, it essentially has all the features of the GoPro uh, Hero 7 Black. So let's just look at some of the uh, things that uh, uh, we can put side by side uh, with respect to the two cameras. So the price. Well, the price of the Osmo Action Cam is $349 US. The GoPro Hero 7 Black, I think, is at uh, $399 US, although uh, GoPro now has some, um, I think, promo where if you give them a camera, even if it's a non-working camera, they'll give you back a hundred bucks. So in essence, uh, you know, the two cameras are kind of identical in terms of the price. They're both 12 megapixel cameras. They uh, both can do a maximum frame rate of 240 uh, frames per second uh, for slow-mo at 1080p. So they're identical there. They both have image stabilization and from what I could see online um, they're pretty identical uh, their image stabilization uh, are both pretty much mm, equal uh, so in that respect they're um, I think um, pretty much on the same uh, footing um, they are water resistant both of them uh, the DJI Osmo Action Cam uh, is water resistant up to 11 meters. Uh, the GoPro is resistant up to 10 meters. They both have voice control. Um, the size is pretty much the same. Uh, I think that the uh, GoPro is slightly smaller than the um, uh, Osmo, um, but in essence, they're you know I think the same. The, the weight is pretty much the same. The uh, GoPro weighs 4.1 ounces and the um, Osmo uh, Action Cam weighs 4.4 uh, ounces. And in terms of battery life, the Osmo Action, I think, can last for approximately 95 minutes and the GoPro Hero 7 Black can last for like 85 to uh, 90 minutes. So, um, they're pretty much the same in, in almost every regard. Now, would I buy this camera? Well, I think it's a great camera, I really do. And, you know, the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black is also a great camera. But what I think is missing in this camera is real DJI innovation. So we've all come to think of DJI as an innovative company and frankly I was expecting that in this camera there would be something, something that would sort of take it to the next level and um, unfortunately I really don't see that. Uh, it's a great camera, don't get me wrong and it's a good price but it's not innovative it's just competitive I mean it's competing toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with uh, GoPro but it's not going beyond GoPro the only thing that's really different is the fact that it's got that uh, front-facing LCD display and listen it's great but is it real innovation it's it's good it's it's you know certainly going to be helpful but it's not really innovative um, I, I think that DJI potentially could have really given GoPro a run for its money could really have knocked the ball out of the park if they did something that took the action cam world into another uh, level uh, and by that I mean let's say put a one inch sensor uh, in the action cam uh, that would make it a fantastic 
camera. You know, even if they charged more, I think people would really be excited uh, having a one inch sensor on the camera. Now, another issue, and I didn't really talk about this, but it, this also has the potential for being innovative, is to have an external mic jack in the camera. DJI hasn't said very much about whether or not you can put an external microphone on this uh, on this camera. From all indications, you have to buy some kind of an adapter to be able to mount an external microphone uh, on the camera. And this is very much uh, the same as uh, what's going on with the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black. You have to buy an adapter. And buying an adapter or a dongle for a microphone is a pain. It's a real pain in the uh, you know what. And uh, DJI is certainly not selling the camera by saying, oh, you can mount uh, an external microphone on this camera. And this would be very helpful. If you could do this, it would be very, very helpful for vlogging. Um, I have heard the sound that comes out of the um, DJI Osmo action camera. And frankly, it's good, but it's not great. Uh, unfortunately, none of the action cams uh, really give great sound. I, I have a few GoPros and you know they're all really pretty bad. Um, I haven't really seen an action cam that gives what I would consider to be a fantastic uh, sound. Uh, another thing that um, the camera I think uh, might have had or should have had and it doesn't have is um, a, a video image uh, without distortion, without the fisheye at the widest angle. I think again people uh, often you know complain about that fisheye look of GoPro styled cameras and uh, from what I could see uh, in the videos that I saw, the, the Osmo Action Cam has that same problem. It would have been great if DJI could have minimized the fisheye or if they could have gotten rid of it altogether at the widest um, sort of uh, field of view. Uh, I think that that would make it a, a fantastic uh, innovation. So there are a couple things that I feel that DJI could have done and I don't think that they have done. Yes, it's an exciting camera, but would I buy it? Uh, I'm not really sure that I would buy it because it doesn't have that wow factor, at least not in my mind. It's it's great, don't get me wrong, and I'm not dissing it in, in any aspect whatsoever but um, with DJI we expect innovation not just competition and I think with this camera we have uh, competition uh, for GoPro but not really a lot of uh, uh, innovation and and that's too bad because um, DJI has uh, really come to be known for being innovative, for uh, bringing things to the next level. And even though this is an amazing camera, I um, don't see that it's innovative uh, in any real sense of the word. Now, uh, you know, I have to be completely honest, I don't have the camera, so I'm talking based on the specs that I have seen online and what I've seen other reviewers post online and I have seen the videos that it is able to produce and uh, so uh, I need to just say that um, you need to take what I'm sort of uh, arguing here with a, a grain of salt. I will try to get my hands on the camera and do a review with the actual camera in hand. I just wish that DJI uh, took it to the next level and and did something that uh, would make me say wow I need to get this this is something I really want 
and uh, I'm just not sure that they've done that at this point. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, are you going to buy this camera? Is this something that really excites you? Uh, post your comments uh, below. Uh, tell me what you think. Tell me if you uh, think that uh, this is a GoPro killer. And uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and um, I'll see you soon for another video. Take care for now. Bye-bye.